Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Craig, and this is D-Boss Reacts to this video. This is Kevin Hart's Kids Caught Him. Um, this is from his most recent stand-up on Netflix. Um, I did not watch the entire thing. I watched maybe the first, like, 20 minutes, and I quickly decided that it was not my cup of tea, personally, so I stopped watching it, <laughs> and I never continued it, but I don't remember this particular segment, so, you know, we're going to watch it now. Um, if I did watch it, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I did not. I don't remember him talking about this at all. Um, but yeah, you know, his, his kids caught him or whatever. You gotta be more careful. That's just how it is, you know? Uh, but anyway, uh, that just reminds me. I don't even want to think about it. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't want to think about it. Um, uh, my own personal experience with this. But, um, yeah, anywho, let's hear him being caught. Let's what? Let's talk about my first irresponsible move this year. My, uh, my first irresponsible move this year actually involves my kids. My kids caught me and my wife fucking. Let, let's let's just start. Oh, he got, wait, he got three kids. Start here. There's no real way to ease into it, so I just gotta go for it, okay? Both kids. Both kids caught us fucking. If it was one, it wouldn't have been that bad, but it was both. Mm. My son saw us first. I saw him when he saw us, because he called his sister. He was like, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Mm -hmm. The crazy thing is, I couldn't even get mad. I couldn't get mad at him because they came in my room based off of a rule that I put in place. I don't like locked doors in my house. Don't lock your goddamn door. I think I the worst thing in for a parent is to not be able to get in his child's room when he wants to. Don't lock your goddamn door, especially my daughter. I told her, I said, you lock that door again, I promise you, I'm going to kick the door down. Don't lock that goddamn door again. Why, especially your daughter? I'm going to the room, the mm, door locked. Mm. I said, what did I say I was going to do? Then I said, I was going to kick that door down. She said, wait, I'm almost finished. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> finished God. Finished doing what? In my mind, I thought the worst. In my mind, she was cooking cocaine. That, that's what I believe. <laughs> She's got to be. Not cocaine. You know why? You know why I thought the worst? I thought the worst because I know what I was doing as a child whenever I was in my room and my door was closed. Whenever I was in my room and my door was closed, I was always doing the worst shit possible on the other side of that goddamn door. Every time my mom busted my room, true story people, my dick was always in my hand. Swear to God. Every time. <laughs> what you doing, boy? One time she came in my room, I had my dick in this hand, and I had matches in this hand. Matches? I it was about to happen, but she got there right on time. I told her it was about to be a hot dick in this bathroom. I was going to set this dick on fire. What the hell? Ah! <laughs> the worst thing about my kids catching us having sex is that we were having sex in positions that you couldn't play off. You know, there's some sexual positions that you can play off. There's a lot of couples here tonight. I see you with your lady, sir. If you and your lady having sex, and your lady laying on the side, and your kids come busting the room, you can play that off. All you gotta do is sit up, act like you're watching TV. Hey, hey, hey! Get out. Get the fuck out of here. Don't come back in here until we're done watching TV. <laughs> if you're real good, and you got your bottom half covered up, when you sit up, you can technically keep fucking while you talk. Hey, 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 hey. Get, get your ass out the goddamn room. Don't come in the goddamn room. <laughs> Your lady be trying to talk, don't come in here. Bro. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the show. You can play it Not off. Not with your kids watching, that's nasty. Missionary, you can play that off. You and your lady having sex in a missionary position, and your kids come bust in the room, all you got to do is fall down and collapse on your lady. <laughs> Make it look like you sleep. Kids are stupid, they'll believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Doggy style is tough. That's a tough one. Ass naked doggy style in the middle of the bed. That's that's yeah. tough to play off. You caught. Like what? What do you do? What, what do you do? Oh shit! <laughs> you don't sit there and look at them. That is weird. You got one move. You got one move. You got to make it look like you're playing American football. You just got. Get your ass out of here. We're going over football plays. Get out of here. We're playing against a couple from down the street this week. Get your ass up out of here. <laughs> what? Oh, that sucks. Y'all not gonna be able to see the little motions and shit that he was doing because, you know, copyright and shit. Actually, not even copyright. Blocked. Um, when I was reacting to uh, videos from this channel, Netflix was blocking my shit left and right. So, shout out to the person who gave me the idea to uh, just show 
a picture instead of you know the actual video because that shit kept getting blocked and I had to like cut it up a whole bunch but anywho um but yeah this was a funny little clip I definitely feel like I would have to watch this Netflix stand up in like short you know short increments <laughs> Because watching the entire thing in one setting was just like, eh. Because even this, yeah, it was funny. It made me chuckle. It was kind of funny, actually. It wasn't, like, hilarious to where I would want to keep watching it. Um, so, yeah, I think that was my issue with his stand-up. I like Kevin Hart. He's cool for the most part, but I don't know. I feel like his jokes can sometimes be a bit lazy. It's just like, okay, I heard this before. I heard this style of comedy before. It's not like anything that's you know really hilarious anything new um and he doesn't really get into like deep storytelling like he used to i feel like he used to be like super passionate about it and really really get into it and i don't get that vibe from him anymore but you know it is what it is i still like him let me know what y'all thought though let me know what other videos you want me to react to and i'll see you in the next one bye